Hola y bienvenidos a esta lección del Español 2. One thing that I noticed that a lot of you, uh, my students, have struggled with through the chapter is this verb para hacerse. And I didn't come out and really teach it maybe as, as much as I should have. So I wanted to do a quick review of it here. Um, when you say, ¿Qué te parece? You're saying, you know, the book I think it says something like, what do you think? But to, to figure out why it says, ¿Qué te parece? For what do you think? can be a little confusing. So let's just go right into a mini lesson on parecerse. Um, quedarse is also a word this, we have this chapter that we should review here real quick. So let's talk about these. Parecerse, using the verbs parecerse and quedarse. Okay, some people will say that the verb parecerse is like the English verb think or to think. For example, ¿Qué te parece esta camiseta? What do you think of this t-shirt? Well, ¿Te parece really isn't you think? Because then you would say, ¿Piensas? ¿Qué piensas de esta camiseta? Instead, parecer works kind of like gustar, where it's, um, where it's more like, uh, it's pleasing to me. To me, they are pleasing. Um, so it's going to follow gustar. So get that in your mind first. And then we'll say that instead of to be pleasing, like gustar, it's more like to seem or to appear. In other, well, I'm, I'm probably confusing you at this point. Let me clarify. Let's first look at gustar. So when we have gustar, and you want to say, I like to read, you would say, me gusta leer. Now, we're not saying, I like to read. We're literally saying, to read is pleasing to me. Okay, so if we were to talk about something from this chapter, los pantalones. Me gustan los pantalones. The pantalones, they are pleasing to me. Okay, I hope this is coming back to you. This should be, um, this should be, I don't want to say no-brainer, but this should be simple for you at this point. Um, if not, if not, we're going to have to talk about gustar, and that's a full-on lesson, and I don't want to do a full-on lesson on gustar here. So let's look at parecer. Functions similarly. <clears throat> so we said earlier, what do you think of these pants? But let me switch that to say, um, how do these pants seem to you? Or what do you, how do these pants how do these pants appear to you? So because pantalones is, is plural, it would conjugate this verb parecer as parecen. parecen. Parecen los pantalones, o los pantalones parecen. They seem. They seem to who? Well, if I'm going to ask you how do they seem to you, I would say, que te parecen. Que te parecen estos pantalones. So how do these pants appear to to you. And then the response would be, me parecen bien. They look good to me. Me parecen bien. Let's hit a couple practice ones of this. Let's see it in context. So uh, talking to your friends, you ask, what you think this t-shirt? Okay. So this shirt, how does it seem to you? You know, I should make this talking to your friend instead of friends. Um, ¿Qué does it seem to you? Well, camiseta conjugating parecer would be parece. Parece. And to you, ¿qué te parece esta camiseta? What do you think of this shirt? Carlos would respond, it seems to me very ugly. To me it seems, que it seems, parece to me me. Me parece muy fea. Thanks, Carlos, for being honesto. Okay, let's try another. Talking to your friend again. Now we're talking about zapatos. Zapatos, it's going to be plural. What do you think of these shoes? Well, these shoes, it seems or they seem? It would be they seem or appear. So it would be parecen. Que parecen estos pantalones, perdón, estos zapatos. Okay, so what they seem to you. Que te parecen. Que te parecen estos zapatos. And then your friend responds, Oh, fantastic. So she says, or he says, To me, they seem fantastic. To me, me, they seem, parecen fantásticos. 
¿Dónde los compraste? Where did you buy them? Okay, and quedarse, like I said, is similar um, to fit oneself. So, if you want to say, do these pants fit me well? Do they fit? Quedan. Quedan. Do they fit me? Me quedan. And let's throw in bien. Do they fit me well? Me quedan bien esos pantalones? And then your honest friend says, no. No. They don't fit you well. No quedan. They don't fit who? You. No, no te quedan bien. Son muy apretados. No te ves bien en esos pantalones. Prefiero aquellos pantalones flojos. All right. So just a real quick glance at quedarse for you.